I'm not going to be before you too long, but I have a question for the black sector of YouTube. My question to you is, how can a scammer be broke? I ask that question because I've seen so many videos that the black sector of YouTube is making regarding polite, young Pharaoh, Dr. Umar Johnson, Sarnetta. You always talking about these guys are broke but at the same time, how can they be broke when you say they are scamming people out of hundreds of thousands of dollars? Now, I watched a video where this guy was saying that this dude was scammed by Polite for over a hundred grand. For the life of me, I can't seem to understand how another man can allow another man to scam him out of that amount of money. Growing up, I've seen guys lose their life over $2. I shared a story before when I was a little boy. These older men, these adults were playing cards and I'm outside playing, the window was open and all of a sudden I heard all this commotion. And I heard this, this guy saying repeatedly, I want my $2. I want my $2. I want my $2. Before you realize it, they were fighting. And the guy had a hammer. He took a hammer and almost beat that man to death over $2. I also shared a, a story that happened locally here where... These guys, this guy moved into the YMCA. He looked like a hippie. Quiet, didn't bother nobody. Well, the guys that were in that resident had borrowed some money from him to get some weed. Told him he would pay it back. Well, the guy smoked the weed with him, so the guy didn't feel he owed him. So the guy kept going to him saying, you know, I want my money. Come on, man, where's my money? You know, I'm not giving it to you. Same thing that you guys say that Polite is doing. You know, he scammed these dudes out of their money and then get raw with them, okay? I didn't come up in that kind of environment. I came up in the environment where if you owe a man, it doesn't matter if it's $2, don't matter if it's 50 cent, it's the principle behind it. You pay that man his money or there's a price to pay. Now, in most cases, we won't do what Young Pharaoh did and get online and talk about you know, lighten up somebody's house. You know, we're not going to do that. You don't know when that person will strike. If you owe that person money, he can show up any place, any time. Yo, where my money at? And you're going to pay that man his money. But in today's society, these guys, a lot of these guys are betas. They're tough on the internet, but in person, doesn't matter if you got covered in tax and you looking all thuggish and, and you trying to play the role on the internet and then you take this guy's money and the guy politely says, where my money at, man? I need my money. A man should be able to read the energy of another man. I'll repeat that. A man should be able to read the energy of another man. Doesn't matter how calm that person is. The calmness alone should scare you. If you owe that man, you scam that man out of a hundred grand and he politely tells you, yo, I need my money, man. Where's it at? You should be able to read that energy. He didn't yell. He didn't threaten you. But the tone of his voice should have been threat enough to say, this dude is not playing. I look in this guy's eyes. I don't know what this guy is going to do. He looked crazy. And you pay that man his money. But I don't know how a dude could allow another dude to scam him out of a hundred grand and then get on social media and talk about 
Not only that he scammed them out of over a hundred grand, but you're going to say he's broke. So how does a dude scam you out of a hundred grand and then you say he's broke? And that's just one individual. So if Polite scammed all of these people, if Young Pharaoh scammed all of these people, if Dr. Umar Johnson got you sending hundreds and thousands of dollars, how is he broke? How is he broke with your money? I want you guys to answer that question because it don't make sense because I'm constantly you hear I'm constantly hearing you say that these dudes are broke. You say Tommy Sotomayor is broke, but at the same time, you say he scammed a lot of people out of their money. See, that doesn't make sense to me. Because if they're that good of a scam artist, trust me, they're not broke, especially if they're traveling from state to state, city to city, during these uh, speaking engagements, they're buying these clothes, these cars, you know, and even if you say polite is renting these cars, they don't belong to him, he's leasing them. But if he's broke, he wouldn't be able to do that. So how is he able to lease and rent these vehicles? And you say he's broke. And then you say he's scamming people out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I'm hoping that somebody will help me to understand uh, your definition of brokenness because if that's being broke, then I don't mind being broke. See, Young Pharaoh seemed to be doing quite well if he's buying these, these trucks and buying this, he's got this house and he's getting his girls some cars and his baby mamas, you know, renting their, paying their bills and paying attorneys uh, $7,500. That don't sound like somebody that's broke to me. So I'm hoping somebody will help me to understand how is Polite a scam artist and he's taking these people's money, hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, and you say he's broke. So feedback, tell me what you think till next time. I'm fearless.